Hey, Will Petty here with Centerfuse Training and Hux Works talking about uh, some basics. So let's get into grip, right? Uh, we've got a lot of new, newer shooters coming in um, and grip, trigger control, and stance are the three topics we're gonna cover very quickly, give you a, a layman's um, overview. So when we start talking about grip on the gun, we want to wrap the, as much of the frame as possible. And so we do that by taking the web of the hand and going as high as we possibly can on the back strap of that firearm. We'll see a lot of shooters um, grab the firearm low, which then causes recoil issues. We'll demonstrate that here in just a minute. So first thing is the master hand or the dominant hand, whether you're right or left-handed, we're gonna grab as high as we possibly can, placing the web in the back strap of that frame. The next thing we're going to do is obviously keeping the finger uh, high on some sort of register, either the frame or the slide. We don't wanna see it floating down here on the trigger guard. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. We want the finger to be high uh, on the frame of the slide. With our support hand, what we're looking to do is we're looking to marry the back portion of this thumb with the inside portion of your dominant thumb, right? So the thumbs will come together. So it'll look like this. I've created this, I have this open space. We're gonna fill that in with our support hand here, thumbs forward. You'll notice that I wanna get as high up on the gun as possible, and this helps mitigate recoil. Proper grip allows us to reduce split times, meaning that I can get uh, more control on the gun and reduce the time that it takes to track the sight or the dot, okay? So with this, I'm gonna marry my support hand on the uh, left side of the frame here, thumbs are gonna come together and we're gonna run thumb forward, right? Crush gripping the gun, you'll see a lot of, um, a legacy approach to grip has been 60-40 and the reality is in a defensive shooting situation, we want 100 and 100, right? So I'm crush gripping the gun, crush gripping the gun. When we talk about how much should we grab the gun or how much should we crush the gun, um, we'll come to where we're just starting to shake and then we'll back off. That's about how much you need for it to be. Good to go? Awesome.